control your hair down there if it's too foresty trim please 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 don't put something in your vagina please don't guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new welcome i'm nila the simple kenyan girl please make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to get everything coming right your way so today we are going to talk about a very important question that i was asked and by the way um if you'd like um yes i did a video about the products that i was supposed to be using when i was pregnant and um a link I'll do a review about the hair how much it has shed from when I give birth because now we are almost six months so yeah we see and happy new month by the way uh, happy new month love month okay okay all right so let's get started hmm this topic is um tricky in some way because our bodies are very different but there's just one thing in common we have all we all have red blood <laughs> i don't know if you know this but i will just start from here we have two parts down there we have a vagina and we have a valve and um a vagina doesn't get dirty a lot apart from when you're going on a short call but a vulva is the area that cleans itself it's the inside the 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 vagina is just the lips yeah so i hope from this explanation you will understand much better when i'm talking about products that you should not put in what and where yeah that's a good start i believe all right so i did a lot of research about this because i did not want to mislead anyone and i found out a lot a lot that i didn't know actually that existed and i was like mm, which world do i live in but actually it's a lot most of the gynecologists that i have i have read that have done an article about this kind of information or the TikToks that I've watched. Believe me, I have watched lots of TikToks. I've lost, watched lots of YouTube videos. I have watched, I have read research. I had I have read a lot of research until my head is like so heavy and is actually aching. Most of the gynecologists say less is more down there. And but Coming back to research, I found out like we have feminine washes, we have feminine wipes, we have douches, we have bonic and supporties. Like wow, 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 wow. First things first, ladies, we are meant to just be that. Yes, we deodorants are created for armpits and our amp is just came like that but down there it's like literally inside your body so woo, you can mess a, I mean, you can mess a lot of things i'm not a gynecologist i am not in any medical department but i can tell you this for free i am a mother and i know how hard it is to heal and um when you use this stuff a lot of complications can happen especially to your cervix and we'll get to that so let's get started feminine washes there are tons and tons and tons of this in different companies i've had there this honey there is it's a company that deals with feminine products there's a lot of product there are lots of companies on these feminine washes it has essential oils it has chemicals and they make you smell nice as of that moment 
But what this doesn't tell you is that it can cause an allergic reaction, especially if you're not sure what works for you and what doesn't. And it can cause skin irritation. Can you imagine just not being able to sit down because of an irritation? That's so annoying, especially if it's something that you can control. Another thing, it causes the vulva and the vagina to be really, really harsh to a point you can't just dab water. You just have to wash with the products that you're used to. And uh, let me just get off the topic a minute. For example, if you're losing weight and you get in a certain diet, uh, which causes money, you should ask yourself if it's something that you can be able to work with from after you even lose that weight, will you be able to continue with the same diet? I mean, financially. If yes, go for it. But these products, they're not cheap. The cheapest that I, I saw was a thousand. And uh, can you imagine? You, you can't just use one. You have to use feminine wipes. Yeah. When you do a susu. When you go for a short call. You have to use feminine, feminine wash when you're going to shower and stuff. You have to use feminine deodorant. There's deodorant too. I didn't know. <laughs> there's feminine deodorant. And then there's this douche. Douche. It's, um, it has been around for years. Like this is something I have seen a lot. Especially being advertised. And I don't know why we are being shamed for just being natural. Like smelling natural. Don't worry. I have a solution for you later. Anyway. Douches. Um, these are just, all of these facts are true, they're scientifically proven, and douching increases your risk of forgetting and spreading STIs and STDs. If you haven't seen a video that I've done on STIs and STDs, I'll, ha I'll, I'll put it up here and you go watch it, and then it can give you more broader expansion on that side. But what douching actually is? but the more you do it the more you're addicted to it and then when you stop doing it you start smelling fish you start you start having irritability you ha you start scratching and that's a sign that's an alarm that everything down there is not okay so you need to spend more money to get medical attention. And then after you get medical attention, you continue back. So <laughs> please, no, stop. And the, the gynecologists say um, the vulva is a self-cleaning oven. Overall, the vagina is a self-cleaning oven because we are warm-blooded animals. Come on, come on, come on. Do yourself a favor. Just relax. Just enjoy what you have. Just, just wash it the way it's supposed to be washed and if you don't know how it's supposed to be washed please comment down below and i'll do a video about this and this i will wait for someone to comment so that i can actually do a video about it because girl some things we get them wrong a lot um feminine wipes they too have tons of chemicals they cause rashes and they cause sensitivity on the area Ha! Huh. i think this this just tells you one thing it tells you one thing. It's just communicating like broadly. Like, um, actually, what these companies are doing, they're just poaching money out of your pockets by telling you you're not supposed to smell this way. You're supposed to taste better. You're supposed to pass by when you're getting in a bus. You're supposed to smell like a flower when you're when you're sitting down next to a someone, you're supposed to like the blooming flower. Wow. And it's actually working because they're making billions and billions of dollars actually. Hmm. So we have Bonic and Sapotis. These are some things that I've seen on TikTok and I was shocked. Like, girls, we have lots of problems. Like, we can't, there, there are women who can't afford a a sanitary towel um 
can you just change the narrative and then we get the sanitary towels to the then people who actually need them because this we need education about this so these are the most overused products which claim that you will taste better and it will balance you to be a woman with standards by the way that's, that does not make you does not standardize you like doesn't give you standards like when you smell <laughs> come on like I, feel, I feel so sad like i'm talking about this like smelling down there doesn't mean that you are not a woman who has standards or is not balanced <laughs> honey you are fine if you're odorless you're not using any money to um to spend on your hoo-ha you are fine okay it doesn't mean that you're broke no but you're fine. That money can do something else. Save your money. Aha. Uh -huh. So, there are actually some things that, some products that you can be recommended for a certain period of, it's like a medication. I just use it for a certain period of time and then I was done with it. And it helped. But I felt addicted to use more because it was, uh, it just gave you that, happiness that oh my god i'm going to wash with something you know because you know you're not supposed to wash with something but when you just know you can bend that rule and nothing is gonna work it's gonna make it like painful or something like it's not gonna harm it you know you just you want to do that extra uh, move but it's not right <laughs> it can mess you up all right so all this all this stuff they are not like unscented they are all scented and one thing with scented products you don't feel like leaving it alone because it smells so freaking amazing yeah and this is the thing that addicts people um and this is actually the like the tactic for marketing especially when you want to get every woman on board um so if you need to use a product and you're not sure and let's say you want you feel like down there is not working for you well you've tried drinking a gallon of water still not working you've tried detoxing yourself by putting some lemon in the water or cucumber in the water it's still not working i think you should definitely go check with your gyna and then you can talk about all these products and then they're products that they can actually recommend but not for long for a certain period of time and please when you're recommended it use it as it's supposed to be used because when you misuse it it gives you problems reproductive problems i am a witness and i am telling you from the fact that it happens so just hmm Please, please, please don't put something in your vagina. Please don't. Um, if you want, if you really, really, really want to wash with soap, use a non-scented dove soap or any baby product that is non-scented. It's good because when a baby girl, especially a baby girl is born, the baby girl parents, they use wipes that will not give this kid an sti and then one thing before i forget when you're wiping yourself it's it should be from the front to back from the vagina to the anus even if you've done a poop like that's the way it's supposed to go and uh, when you finish the first line you fold and then you go to the second because <laughs> when you bring the bad bacteria to the clean area Hmm. it doesn't end well it gives you lots of problems you can actually even have sore feet like it's that bad all right another thing if you see like that down there is not changing reduce red meat for a while because it's scientifically proven that red meat is is causes lots of body odor just general even the armpits yeah yeah another thing control your hair down there 
if it's too foresty trim uh just let it be nice and neat not too open not too closed yeah uh wiping make sure you wipe with a clean towel we talked about towels if you haven't checked that video please check it out it's up here check it out check it out it will educate you a lot on that and yeah i am so pumped like this topic is a broad one and um i can't talk about this topic a lot a lot a lot like all the time but i am so glad like you asked that question eve thank you so much for the question um yeah your comments and your questions they keep me going i have another video coming up um yeah which is gonna be a little bit more interesting uh it's involving the feminine hygiene thing so please don't miss it out check it out every saturday is like a must i must upload so yeah please be there be there i'll see you guys on the next video please stay safe stay tuned and much love. Bye-bye.